at the national level. Um, so Australia has the national um, strategy for disaster re uh, resilience. And that document, in a way, outlines responsibilities for individuals, for businesses, for different uh, levels of government. Um, and my, my concern, um, you know, as a researcher, is whether that whether official government uh, policy place responsibilities on people who may be unable to fulfill them um, and why those responsibilities may be unable to be fulfilled. So, for example, government policy makes it very clear as an individual, it is your responsibility to, to understand what risks you face particularly and to be adequately insured for them. So the government is basically saying our you know, number one way of mitigating damage is through insurance. There have been many, uh, many identified problems around insurance, um, you know, insurance being inadequate, unclear, and so on and so forth. So there is a responsibility on making sure that this, you know, that the insurance industry is actually regulated and non-exploitative in, in many ways. Uh, and there have been a number of reports, you know, a number of reports to, to show that that may not be happening in all cases. So if people are saying, uh, you know, if the government is saying people must have insurance, then there must be an adequate insurance industry to fulfill that responsibility. Now, in terms of preparing for disasters, um, you know, there is a lot of responsibility placed on homeowners to prepare for a disaster. If that responsibility is unfulfilled and the property is rented, then the renter has some responsibility and some rights, but not, uh, not as many. And, you know, um, earlier this year before, before COVID, we've had a number of reports about the unequal uh, relationship between renters and homeowners. Um, so, um, you know, in the, in the way that the market was, renters felt unsafe about speaking out um, about things that you know, were wrong with a property out of fear of being um, kicked out. Now, co uh, now it's interesting with uh, what happened during COVID is that the government specifically protected renters because they identified them as a vulnerable group.